Hey guys, welcome back to another video of DIY. So today we're making, it's kind of a little bit different, we're actually doing a weathering tutorial. So I'm just going to show you guys how to weather, make a helmet look like it's all been beat up and in the battle. So let's get to that. But before we get started with the actual video and the weathering, I highly recommend that you like down below and subscribe. And yes, I did get a haircut. Okay, two things. I'm going to be showing you today two techniques for weathering. One, they're both a little bit different, but they're both kind of the same. And now let's get on to the video. And here are the props and helmets that we are going to be weathering today. So, first to start off, we've got Taskmaster Shield from my last video that I made. Pretty shiny and new, doesn't look like it's been in a battle, so let's change that. Second, we have my second to last video, which was uh, Boba Fett's helmet. It just looks also shiny and new, so we'll get down to that and weather this up. Make it look really, really battle-worn. So without further ado, it's time to get started. So for this thing, uh, for this type of weathering, you're going to need two paper towels, one to get wet and one to dry. You're going to need paint, so we're going to use actually, uh, black is recommended, it's actually the best thing to use, but since I don't have black, the closest thing I have to black is this pearl uh, space gray, so we're going to use that and just put a little bit in, mix it around, so put a little bit of that in, then we're going to mix it up, so put that in. We're gonna get the water all dirty. Now that we've got this water all nice and dirty, we're just gonna take a paper towel, like say this thing, this paper towel right here, and we're just gonna take a little bit and dab it in. So there we go, now it's all nice and dark and, and wet. Now we're just gonna dab it on there and keep dabbing repeatedly. take a dry paper towel and just dab it off. Make sure to not rub. And then just dab like that and you should have a desired look once you're done. very very nice I like it you can see that the black paint went into all these crevices and it looks very very nice now for the second type of weather now the second type is a little bit different it's not it still uses paint of course but it's not watering down paint so what we're gonna do is take some silver and we're gonna basically take a sponge or like a brush and just uh, put it on a plate and just dab it and just dab it on and that should make it look like the paint is chipping make it look like the metal underneath is coming out. Make it look like it's been a battle. So let's get to that. Oh yeah, obviously we can't use it on this shield uh, because, you know, it's silver. Duh. But we can use it on this orange part. Make sure like it's chipping at the end. Like the paint chipped from where, where people were hit with it. So we can do it here, but just not here if you get what I'm saying. This next one is really simple. Anyone can do it. So we're just going to start off, take a little bit of silver. Where's my silver at? Oh, oh silver. Oh, here it is. I'm right in front of me. Oh, ha, ha. Okay, so we're just going to take a little bit of silver, peel this off, and just put a little bit down there. Maybe a little bit more. That's good. About that much, maybe. Well, it depends how big your helmet is or your shield. Now we're going to take a paintbrush. This is a weird one, but just a tiny paintbrush. And here's the Boba Fett helmet. 
we're just gonna dab a little bit on. Now I do recommend doing it on the very edges because that just makes that just makes it more believable. Just kind of maybe go like that. <laughs> So maybe just do a little bit less to make it more subtle. But that does make it look like it's been weathered a lot. We're just going to do this. And now maybe add some marks on the top like that. Thin it out. Put some marks on the gold details because, you know, why not? And there we go. Just super nice and simple. That's all it takes. And just dab it right there. Maybe don't do as much as I did. It looks like this Boba Fett is really, really beat up. Just that's it. Oh, also, this is actual real paint, not watered down paint, so we'll have to wait an hour for it to dry. Then I used some paint on Taskmaster Shield to make it look like the paint, the orange paint, was chipping. Do. Should I initiate the clean slate protocol, sir? Yep. So this is an Iron Man helmet that I made quite a while ago. It was Jean Prod's uh, technique, his uh, pattern, and yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty broken up now, so it kind of looks like it's weathered, but not really. The paint is chipping off some places. Uh, yeah, so this is what we're gonna weather now. So there's different types of dirt, and there's different types of like uh, sand, and there's different types of snow. Basically, what you gotta think is. What is your character getting into? Why would he, why would basically Iron Man be dirty? For the Mandalorian, there was an episode, I'm um, trying, a lot of people are like, don't remind me, the, the spiders. But there was the episode with the, where they're in the snowy planet with the spiders, and he was getting all dirty with snow, there was like powder on him. Uh, with that, you can easily just use maybe some flour, you know, just coat it on. And the easy thing about it is that you just wipes off, so let's do that. Jarvis, activate clean slate protocol. So you have significant damage on the suit. I am shutting it down. This helmet does look very, very dirty now. Uh, it looks actually very, very nice. So I do recommend this if you are doing like a, a Mandalorian thing and it's supposed to be where he's in the snow. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, next, I don't know how I'm gonna get this off. So I'm gonna do like a time lapse of me getting this off. I think it should work, but it's pretty cake in there. So we'll, let's see. but it also kind of doesn't come off. It's still kind of caked in there, and you can also tell that the flower has been there. But otherwise, I would say that this is a pretty good idea. I would recommend the flower idea if you are, if you don't want it to be dirty all the time, if you want to be dirty for like one, one moment, this is a good idea. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to like down below and subscribe. It really means a lot to me, especially subscribe. And yeah, make sure to like down below and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video, all that, all that. And now, on to the montage. I'll see you later. Thank